So this is by by chat request. This is called Poop Killer. Now I was on the fence about playing it because I have no idea what I'm getting into, but I respect the recommendations. If enough people ask, I kind of have to check it out. Poop Killer, new game. Are you sure? I'm still on the fence, but here we go. Is that gonna be like every? Dude, I, that noise of the farting, I feel like that is going to, uh, like when we're getting chased, that's probably gonna be the sound that's, you know, behind us. All right, so this game, apparently, we're working at a VHS store. The last time we played a 616 game, we were, where were we? Oh, a laundromat. All right, so this is a VHS store, which we have been. Oh yeah, yeah, we've been in this in the same VHS store before. This is the same one from that other game, VHS Slaughter. And that might be 616 Games, but I'm not sure. All right, but yeah, this is exactly the same store they used for that. Ooh, adult movies right in the front. All right, we can't click on it. All right, we, we can't take inventory of the adult movies. I'm sorry. Sorry, chat. Horror movies, suspense movies, action movies, adventure movies. That's it. Wait, what are these over here? Comedies. All right. And a fish tank. I could have sworn I saw fish in here before. I'm looking. No fish. We look from this side. Fish. What about this side? No fish. All right. So where do we begin? No customers yet. That's not on. Uh, here we go. I guess John Jahan. Here are your tasks. Do it in order. Do it in the order I put in and only when you don't have any customers. Put the horror movies on the shelf. Sweep, sweep stains from the floor. I think we're going to need a shampooer for that. I don't know if a, if a broom is going to be able to sweep the stains right off the floor. Throw the trash from downstairs. Ooh, downstairs. Does that mean there's a basement here? Cleans the graffiti on the outside walls. All right. All right, Johan. All right. So our first task is take the horror movies. The clowns fun. All right. Horror was over here. Power drill massacre. We got endless days and truth loop. Truth loop. I think we have a customer. All right. Someone's pulling up in a van. Uh, wait, they said do it in order. Do we have to sweep the stains? All right, we got to do the stains next. Should I wait? I think let's let's handle the customer first. Anybody in the bathroom? No, is that Walter White? Jesse, we have to cook Jesse. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna say that's definitely Walter White inspired. Too bad they didn't have him pull up in a Winnebago. Okay, maybe not Walter White, because he's got more of a beard than just a goatee. Oh, and he's got a dump truck. Dump truck Walter White. All right, what can I do for you? Lino. Good night, boy. I want to rent this tape. Good evening, sir. Uh, is it is it $3, please? He's like, is that a question? Lino. All right, keep the change, you filthy animal. See you later. I guess I'll, I'll take that. All right, let's sweep up those stains. <laughs> Quick fade the black always does the trick. It's like, how are they going to sweep up the stains? And then we'll never know because it's just gone. And here's this one that might be, oh, we got one here. Why, why are there stains on the carpet? Why was there more stains on the carpet by the adult section? I think that's it. They took my broom. It, my broom's gone. Oh, we got another customer. He's got a vest on. What's that say? Oh, oh, it's the police. Throw trash and then graffiti. Okay, so trash, then graffiti. All right, I'll just wait for this guy. What did he get? Oh, there is a movie here. Endless Days. Wait, what was the last? No, the last guy got an elevator movie. Sebastiano. I would like to rent this tape. How much does it cost? For you? A dollar twenty-five. It costs five dollars, sir. Here's the money. Thanks. All right, I will take this. Exact change. You got one one action movie for the cop. Why are you saying it like that? 
I guess the $5 bill was the only bill they felt like making for this game. The amount of money doesn't matter. The question is, why is this game called Poop Killer? That's th that's the only thing I care about. All right, we have to, uh, I gotta find the basement. Oh, here we go. In the other VHS game we played, this was just a closet and there was a body in here. So it's cool that, you know, we get to see companies take the same the same asset, but like build upon it and make it their own. Oh my God, there's a whole lounge area down here. Oh, this is nice. This reminds me of school. Do they even still, they don't even have these, right? I, I would assume they just like, they hook a laptop up. They don't need this overhead projector. A bathroom down here. I know we have to take out the trash. I'm just giving myself the tour. Uh, oh my God, they have a kitchen down here too. No flashlight. Oh, this is really, you could live down here. This might be, maybe this is like an apartment. I don't know what this is. Maybe we have to hide here later whenever the poop killer's coming after us. All right, let's grab this trash. One bag at a time. Looks like we have three bags. Corpse bomb, corpse bomb, Keith. I don't know what that means. 616 games. Those goddamn developers graffitiing my walls. I don't know where the dumpster is. Apparently, it's my first night on the job. Is that a dumpster? Yeah. There we go. I don't feel... It, it, I don't know what it is. Some games, I instantly feel, like, creeped out. Maybe it's because there's, like, a sense of familiarity with the VHS store. Like, we've already played a game with the same store. I, I feel more at home. I feel comfortable. Like, I don't feel, like, freaked out right now. I'm still, I'm more intrigued by what the poop killer is going to be. And still no sign of anything. We're almost done with the trash. Oh, we got four bags of trash. And then we got a clean graffiti. Customer pulling in. Uh, I didn't see any cleaning supplies, though. Nothing up here. Maybe downstairs? I don't know. I'll wait for the customer. This guy kind of looks like a poop Ha! Ah! Oh God, this is probably him, right? Like, I think he just shit himself. That's a sign. I'm no detective, but I'm going to say all signs point to this guy being the poop killer. Did you shit yourself, sir? I don't know, though. That looks kind of, what, what is this? It look, that looks kind of lumpy. Maybe he's wearing a diaper. Please, I need to use the bathroom urgently. All right, sir, feel free. Thank you, says Marco. Right this way, sir. <laughs> Why is he still walking? Oh, there we go. Should I stick around? Hold on. <laughs> Makes you wonder how they got those sound effects. Fuck, this fat guy is going to ruin the bathroom. What's his weight got to do with it? Whoa, whoa, what the hell was that? It's like a doorway to another dimension. All right, we'll save that for later. One issue at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking like, imagine if this was real life and like you're just standing here, like clearly he can see my feet. Like how awkward would that be? For both parties. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> you can clip right through it. I, I didn't mean to do that. Let's talk about invasion of privacy. Thank you, friend. You saved my life. Oh my God, dude. All right, we got to find cleaning supplies. Well, let me see if we, if we don't need cleaning supplies. Okay, we definitely need cleaning supplies or something. Spray bottle, rag, power washer. Did he clog it? I didn't even look. The smell of the poop is going to kill us. Hence the name. The broom was upstairs. Maybe there's something over by where the broom was. Yeah, nothing over here in the corner. Wait, what? Oh, I thought that was a trash can. All right, so this is the cleaning supplies. Got it. So then we have at least two over here. All right, one done. 
No real jump scares yet. I do notice that the more I play these games, the more numb I become. Like, I still freak out, but the overall... Like, the overall feeling I get, like, while I'm playing is, uh... Is not as bad. Another customer coming in. Maybe that first guy wasn't the poop killer. Maybe that was, like, a diversion. Uh, yeah! Yeah, he did clog the toilet. Ah, shit. He looks like a thinner version of the last guy. What in Lucifer's name made me want to play a game called Poop Killer? Like, this is literally a recommendation from the chat. I had enough people asking on Twitch and YouTube for me to play it. He kind of looks like uh, Steve Jobs. The clown's fun. All right. His name is... Steve Jobs passed away, but do you think they did that intentionally? Steve, please, I want to rent this tape. What a bad smell in there. Or, I'm sorry, in here. It's $5, sir. I'm sorry, a customer used the bathroom and clogged the toilet. A customer, right? Here's the money. Good night. Thank you. Yeah, stop. Stop poop shaming. Well, is there a way to... There's nothing I can do. We can't clean that out. It's just going to sit there. What if... As the night goes on, the poop evolves and becomes a monster. Like, I'm gonna go like this, and, and, and there's gonna be this giant, like, monstrosity of a turd in there, and then we're gonna have to run from it. This is a different customer pulling in. <laughs> gonna have to use the broom to break up those logs. They took my broom, though. My God, what is this stench? Sorry, sir, a customer used the bathroom and clogged the toilet. I should just get a sign and just hang it up. <laughs> like, put it on the front door. So they know going into it. Be careful, that smell might attract the poop killer. Poop killer? Never heard of him. I saw it in the paper last night. He looks for people who don't flush. He's a nut with serious mental problems. This is bizarre. Tomorrow I'll ask someone to unclog the toilet. You don't have until tomorrow. It must be done now. Take care, my friend. Here's the money. Keep the change. Well, thank you, good sir. Good night. It's funny that all the movies I put away are the same movies that they're all that they're all renting. Like they only had so many um, assets for the tapes. Great! So now the the clogged toilet is going to attract the poop killer. Put a sign up that says "Possible World Record: Don't Flush." Yeah, that's at least ten curates. At least I thought the poop was going to be the enemy. No, and. Uh, I thought like the poop was gonna be the enemy. I thought maybe the the guy that took the shit was gonna be the enemy. Turns out that all of this was put in place to just bait the killer into coming in here. Like by them taking the shit, that's gonna attract the, the actual killer. Well, I'm done with my tasks, right? Yeah, everything's done. So I guess all we have to do is wait to be murdered by the poop killer. The one screenshot I saw of this, I did see a guy that had shit smeared on his face. But again, I had no context to know what, you know, what actually happened. So now I'm wondering, is the poop killer going to show up? Like, are we going to know immediately it's him because his face is going to be covered in shit? Or was that a victim of the poop killer? Weird game concept. Yeah, well, you know, it's our fault. I always complain about how all these horror games have such a similar premise. I mean, it doesn't help that we're, we're in a VHS store for like the 10th time. But this is this is probably them digging deep. Like, all right, you know, Swole is always bitching about, you know, concepts being redone over and over again. We got to come up with something original. And like the guy had that idea. The guy was reflecting on my comments, thinking about my streams while he was taking a shit. And then he was like, you know what? I have an idea. I have a solid idea. Slightly liquid idea. That's going to blow Swole's mind. Look, we've done everything. So I can't imagine there being much left to do, like, other than, well, die. So, should we start snooping around a little bit? Poop killer? <laughs> Words you never thought you'd ever say together. Poop killer, are you here? I just don't know what else to do. I don't know what would trigger the next event. How does he know that there's unflushed poop? I am assuming this guy has developed like an incredible sense of smell specifically for poop. So even if he's miles away, 
the slightest gust of wind in his direction is gonna is gonna catch his nose, kind of like a like a Looney Tunes cartoon. You know, when the old woman puts the pie on the windowsill, and then you see the steam, you know, go through the through the town, and then like hook Bugs Bunny, and then he like kind of floats, like he he follows his way back to the back to the pie, except replace the pie with shit. That's this guy. All right. Well, there's one place I haven't checked yet. Downstairs. But there's no way in other than this door, and we haven't seen anybody new come in. I just don't know what else to do. I thought I heard something. Like a faint rattling sound. I can't move. There we go. <laughs> no! No! You didn't flush, John. It wasn't me. It was the customer, I swear. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Not the smear. Motherfucker threw shit in my face. Where'd he go? Dude, he had a head. He had a toilet for a head. Okay, so earlier I said about seeing the screenshots for the game. And I only saw a few. And I talked about how I saw someone with shit smeared on their face. That was us. Oh, great. Now we got to watch where we step. It's like a giant cigar. You didn't flush, John. John. You didn't flush. John. Dude, we should throw our shit. Not our shit, but we should return fire. Like we should get like some gloves, maybe some rubber gloves and return fire the next time he comes in here. Although he'll probably catch them in his head. His head's a toilet. He might he might lean forward, catch the shit right in his head, and then flush it. Oh yeah, the customers? I didn't even think about the fact that I still have shit on my face. Because at no point did we clean it off. I can't use the sink. Yeah, so I'm I'm standing here covered in shit. Hey Michelle. <laughs> Is that shit on your face? Stop making fun of me. In my defense, it's not my shit. It's five dollars, please, ma'am. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah, here it is. Shithead. Hey! Get out of here! So now what? We just stand here and get bullied by customers for the rest of the night? Ah, oh, um, maybe downstairs. There, there is another bathroom downstairs. Can we wash ourselves off in this thing? Why would we not wash our face off? Is he back? I thought I heard music. You forgot to flush, John. Wait, did I open that door? I, we went out here before, but I don't remember if I shut the door or not. All right, well, nothing's changed. All right, nobody in the store. Can we wash our face in the fish tank? <laughs> Dude's an ass man. Well, I'm an ass man. Remember Billy Gunn? Are we sure that even poop killers poop? Well, I don't, is the guy human? He, he has a toilet for a head. Sounds like that noise came from below. Oh, great. Oh, I mean, he's gotta be in here. Like what else would it be? Baby steps, tiny peaks. Baby steps, tiny peaks. All right, I don't see him unless he's in that room or in the bathroom. There is another bathroom right here. I hear his signature battle, battle cry. Is he in here? No! 
Where is he? Not in the refrigerator. Okay, good. run outside I didn't I couldn't tell where he went you're gonna clean this up motherfucker oh my god what have you done what have you done it wasn't my shit not the fish not the fish tank oh you sick son of a bitch he left a couple floaters. Oh my God. I said it wasn't me. I said it wasn't me. <gasps> Are we being chased? Like, I keep hearing farting noises, and uh, there's a toilet here. Oh, oh, uh, running out? Beg for your life. No, I will not bend the knee to the poop killer. All right, we're running. We're getting out of here. Go! Go, John! Run for your life! He's so slow. I mean, I know it's in slow motion, but I feel like he's making no ground at all. Are we going to see it? Like, no, it's still in his hand. Okay. I was waiting for it to, like, like follow from behind. This is out of my control. What's gonna happen is gonna happen. I can't save John, he's on his own. <laughs> no! We can't let him win! Maybe... Maybe the other option where we beg for our life, maybe we like trick him and we kill him. I don't know. Sebastiano is one of the, uh, said special thanks. All right, we got to go back in and see the other ending. I love how it's just the toilet chilling by itself, but when you approach it, it, it the, 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 whole, the whole dude is there with the toilet head. Okay, beg for your life. Please don't kill me. What the fuck? That was worse than the last time. <laughs> what what is what is going on? What is this game? He shot him in the chest with an ass gun. Methane explosion? No, no, he definitely cocked it like a gun. Yeah, so he had a shotgun. He had a shotgun up his ass. I didn't see a gun, but wasn't looking good enough. Uh, from our angle, I don't think we could see a gun. All we saw was the muzzle flash. <laughs> you know what they say, a shotgun up the ass would make the shit hit the fan. I've, I've always said that. Yeah, he put the ass in assault rifle. So which one, <laughs> which one was the good ending? We begged for our life, man, and he shot us. I don't know, man. There is no good ending. Nothing is good. There's no winners. Only losers when it comes to shit. <laughs>